Hi, babies, this is Grammy, and I just had a big old cup of black coffee, and I am amped up. I'm a mover and a shaker. I am the coffee generation. Now, here it is, model cars with my grandson, Glenn. Get it, Glenn! Oh, thanks, Grammy. Hey, you better go maybe, I don't know, run around the block or something. I will. All right, uh, oh, hey, <laughs> old girl don't hold her coffee very well. Hey, I've got a shop card shout out to this guy. Now, I've had his car, I've got his other card, but this one is awesome, man. I really like it. It's still got the, it's still got that awesome van. I used to have one just like that, and that cool motorcycle. I never had one like that. And on the back, it's still, it, it's got like the thing bled through. Very cool. This is Dan. He said, tell, tell the Dan, tell Dan the man sent you. And he didn't send me, but he sent me this card. And if you spin it around, it will actually make you hallucinate. How's that? That's cool, huh? Okay. Nice. To, it, it's a good, it's a good channel. He's got good models, good builds, good personality. And so go over there and give him a like and a subscribe and a comment and tell him you love him because he's really cool. All right. <laughs> Grammy just ran through the house doing about 70 mile an hour. Uh, I got a sh couple's shout out. Couple's shout out. Comedy drum roll, please. Oh, we, we got to start doing better than that. Okay. This is for... My buddies, Rob and Tammy Lucas. And that gummit, if I didn't forget there, he's got a, he's, he has a channel, but dang, if I can remember what it is, and I didn't write it down. But you guys know Rob and Tammy Lucas. Come on, man. They're, they do a lot of comment, and he's got a cool channel, I'm pretty sure. And I am messing up, but this is the best I can do right now, because it is. Okay. And that's a couple shout out. They like to watch my show together and uh, she supports and build models. I think she might actually build models. I have really got to get my notes together better. All right. As far as Don's painting goes, ain't one. He went lazy on us and he ain't painted anything new. So there you go with that. I got a quiz. I got a question quiz for you guys. People keep saying, dang it, quit calling the motor in the car a motor. It's an engine. And it goes like this. It goes, electric motors, gas engines. Electric motors are electric gas engines run on gas. But that being said, so what's a motorcycle? I had a motorcycle. I never had to charge it up overnight or anything. Uh, so I put gas in it. So what does that make a motorcycle? So what? Uh, uh, Anyway, that's a ridiculous question quiz brought to you by me. Now, uh, let me see. Ah, uh, these guys. Love these guys, man. This is Matt and Dawn at Spotlight Hobbies. And I got him done. Look out. He's done. Let me put on the flashlight. Where's that? Right there. This is the shaker. Maybe that's where Grandma got that mover and a shaker thing. This is him, and he's all done. Yep, he is down to the last detail that I can think of. Let me get him right on here. Uh, now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you, it's not the, it's not the stock kit. This is I changed out. The, these are the stock rims that come with the kit. When I say stock, I meant it comes with the kit. These tires, though, came from Spotlight in one of them parts packs, and they're they're pie crust white walls, slick. And these rims came with the double dragster. Headers came with the Mobius 65 Nova gasser. These are made out of Plastruck. The hood come out of my parts box. And the front axle came from the Atlantis. Atlantis uh, 57 Chevy. So there you go. That's where all the extra parts come from. Oh, and the moon tank. Came from my buddy Matt at Spotlight, too. He he sent me a few extras that he had because I told him I didn't have any. That was a nice guy. And, uh, yep. Well, anyway, she's done and ready to go into the cabinet. See, bye-bye. See you later. And how's about that, boy? This thing, this thing come out nice. Paint is pretty smooth, not too shiny. It has the, it has the USDA-recommended amount of dust in the paint 
So you can't complain about that. Yep. And, believe it or not, drive shaft right there. Big old drive shaft. It's a silver thing running down the middle. You don't see those often. I showed you the motor already, and it ain't no different from when I showed it to you. So here he is, the shaker with rat fink on him and some extra decals. Whoops, there goes my puppy fell on the floor. And, oh, it's got green headlights, too. Man, the windshield and back window are tinted green, but very lightly. But you can see that it, right there, you can see them green headlights. It's jealous, you know. It's jealous because of, of all the other cars. But it's beautiful. I love this car. Okay, next. Let me get him out of the way over here. This is my next project. Also, I got this at Spotlight Hobbies. I love these guys, man. They got all the cool cars. This is a 66 Chevelle. You know it. It's the AMT re-release. I think it used to be Lindbergh, but now it's AMT because AMT is cooler than Lindbergh. And this is it. And what I'm going to do with it is my cousin Charles, he had... A car exactly like this, a 66 Chevelle, back when I was about 19 or 20. And we'd go to work, we'd get out of work, and we'd cruise the drag, which is the main street in Laporte up there where I used to live. And we'd drive up and down the drag in it, want, and checking for chicks, because that's where we kept our chicks. And I want to recreate that car. It had a 327 that he bored out 30 over, and he put in a Z28 cam. Cam, a brand new one out. He ordered it from Chevy. A Z28 cam in a 30 over 327. Had a four barrel on it and an Edelbrock manifold and some headers. I don't remember what brand the headers were. But that thing, it was like this. It was boom, 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 boom. When it was just sitting there idling. And take off from a stop sign. It just, no gas, just ease the clutch out. It was like, like that, trying to, trying to keep the wheels from spinning. You know, in case any cops was watching. But I'm going to recreate that car. Yes, Lord help me. I'm going to put a small block in it. But it'll be bored over with a Z28 cam, headers, and a four barrel. This is, well, you can't hardly see that rim. So I'm going to hold this one up. These are extra rims that came with, uh, oh, what do you call it? That Fiat, the Yellow Fever Fiat from that I got, I've built not long ago. There it is. These are pretty darn close to what he had on the back of that car, and these and these wheels. You know, these are like these are like G fifty, but he had G sixties. But it's as close as I can come to them. And I got these front wheels, which is Krager's or American, I'm not sure, but on these Goodyear polyglass radials, and that's what I'm putting on the front. And that's what I'm putting under the hood. And that's what I'm putting on the back with some air shocks because he had it sitting up just high enough to, for the wheels to not rub on the fender wells when he punched it. It was light green metallic, uh, light blue-green metallic, real pretty. And uh, I'm going to recreate that car because that car holds a lot of memories for me, you know? <laughs> yep. Didn't ever get in any trouble with it, but... It was fun to ride in. Boy, it would put you back in the seat, too, when he punched it. Thing had tons of power. Okay, that's enough of him. Uh, what next? Uh, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Reading my thing. Give me a minute. Okay, I got some models to show you. That's where I'm at. This is actually a 66 Chevelle wagon. How about, how about that? And, and guess what? It's a gaster. I know you weren't expecting that. Oh, look at how the chrome is faded. They don't do that on the real car. But, oh, let me see about the motor. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some stuff under the hood here. You can see the dual dual feed hollies, two of them with the dual, where's my pointer? With the dual lines coming out. Right here and right here, and same on the back one. And they go down to this little fuel distribution block, which then in turn goes down to the fuel pump. You can even see the little fuel pump down in there. <laughs> it's got an Excel coil on it. 
which you don't hardly ever see a coil on any of my models. This is probably the only one with a coil. There may be another. And it's on a high-rise dual quad intake. And the fuel lines look great, man. Those are good-looking fuel lines. And the spark plug wires, that's what I was trying to think of. Sometimes my, my memories don't remember. And nice-looking alternator, too, to tell you the truth. And I put a lot of detail into this that I don't usually do anymore. And it doesn't have a straight front axle. It's a gasser, but it doesn't have a straight front axle. The guy couldn't afford one, so he just put some of those riser blocks, you know, those ones you twist into your coil springs to raise it up. Because he didn't care. He's just going to go to, oh, yeah, and drive shaft. Yep, got a drive shaft. And the homemade ladder bars. I made those ladder bars out of, not ladder bars, I made them out of uh, plastic and wire. The wire bent down through the middle there. Yep, they look pretty good. Be all right. And it's a full-on, Got a, it's even got battery in the back. Okay, that's enough of this guy. I'm going to set him over here. Bring out the next, which is cool, 62 Corvette. Yep, 62 Corvette. And... He ain't got no wires or plumbing. And you'd think he would have being an open, you know, open hood. But no. Got a straight front axle. No drive shaft because what are you going to use a drive shaft for if the motor won't run? You know, I changed. It's, uh, I got the spoky wheels on the front. I love those. Those are actually treaded tires on the back. I had to look. Like he thinks he wants to drive it on the street. I guess he could if he doesn't want to get a ticket. I mean, if he doesn't care if he gets a ticket. But this is cool 62 Corvette. Anything inside? Nah, much. It's red. Red and black. I like red and black. I didn't even paint. I didn't, <laughs> you'd think I would have painted the inside the tail light buckets there. Red, but no. Boy, ain't that smart. Anyway, this is my Corvette. I started counting up Corvettes today. I got like six or eight of them. I don't. I know I counted them, but I don't remember. I don't remember how many I had. Next is a Pro Street '55 Chevy. It's the only '55 Chevy I got. You'd think I would have a ton of these things because I love '55 Chevys, especially good old, good old, cool Pro Streets. They got the big old tires. Down there. Eh. Yep, got the coilovers and and uh, traction bars, drive shaft, mufflers, glass packs, probably. Pretty car. I love red and white on a 55 Chevy. White roof in the back white. And a moon tank in the front. What's under the hood? You want to see? I want to see. Oh, Lord, it's another... It's another small block. What's going on? Anyway, I got a small block in this with no wires or fuel lines or nothing, but there you go. Oops. Did you see it? Yep. It's all right, though, because it's covered up, you know. Hood. Okay, 55 Chevy Pro Street. Pretty bad, pretty bad car. Yep. I like the, I like the way... I like the way the back wheels are tucked in. Oh, it was at the... <laughs> I went to the drive-in and I drove off with the with the plate still hanging off of the side of the thing there. I lost the Coke, but the burger's still there. You know, I didn't want to... I ain't going to lose the burgers. I lose the Coke. When I get home, I got Coke here. But burgers are still on the tray there. You'd, want, you'd think that tray would have blowed off, but no, nope, it's on there. Next. What's next? I've got 20 minutes, or 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I want to tell you a little story about when models were first born, uh, probably second born, but back in late 50s, early 60s, maybe even later than that, they had these cats named Geppettos. I don't know their actual job title, but everybody called them Geppettos because these guys would sit in their rooms, offices, and they would carve the model out of wood a one-eighth scale model out of wood every square inch of it every part 
have it all put together with pins, and then they'd take it apart and use a pantograph to go over the part and uh, transfer it over into other things that they would eventually make the mold out of. But to start with, the models were made out of wood in one eight scale, every square inch of it, every piece. That's enough of that. That's all I got time for. I want you to give me a like and a subscribe. And thanks for watching. I love all my subscribers, every darn one of you. And I will catch you later. Bye.